Kadayama, my family sort of name. Is Kadayama Paki okay? Hey, Ryota, what time you got? Uh, it's almost six. You're not running late, are you? It's already dark out. Tell me about it. We were all talking about the nice autumn leaves and all just, all just a few days back, and now I'm, I'm not, and now I'm darned if it ain't winter. Christmas, even, it's just a few days away. Swift indeed is the passage of time. Well, I'd better be heading back. Azami will be getting out of work soon. Be careful, Mr. Rabu. There's all kinds of hooligans out and about this time of night. No sweat. Worst comes to work, I can count on Azami to save me. Are you sure you're not relying on her a little too much? We put up a Christmas tree today. Please, have a look at it as you leave. You did? I never saw it on my way in. I'll have to get a real good look at it, at it, at it to make up. Mr. Little Shop, but I put a lot of time into decorating it. I hope you like it. You bet I will. See you all around. December certainly does feel like it's the end of the year. Wow, this music's really, really loud. Hold on a second. Oh, preferences. I'm gonna lower the music a little bit. Jeez, it's kinda loud. There we go, it's better. December certainly does feel like the end of the year. I wonder how much busy it'll be at this time next year. You are a sophomore, correct? Have you been thinking about your plans for after graduation already? No, not really. I just want to make sure I can take care of my mother. Worries are an important part of youth as well. And sometimes problems will simply disappear as you try to solve them. You never know. Uh, Mr. Lushada? Can I ask you for some advice? I've had a lot on my mind. But of course. I am more than happy to provide whatever assistance I... Hmm? That came out from out front. I believe it did. Let's go see what has happened. It's pitch dark outside. It's hard to see anything, even with the light from the cafe door. What on earth? Okay. A Lutino Bujurgar is collapsed on the sidewalk. Mr. Rabu! Are you alright? Have you been injured? Uh, uh, I let my guard down. They got me from behind. They got, they got you? Do you need an ambulance? It must have been somebody selling a grudge from your biker gang days. No, that's not it. There. The legendary Christmas thieves come to our town. The legendary Christmas thieves? What's that? New TV show? No, no, they're real. They're on the streets right now, spreading misery and destruction. They've been coming up on the news a lot, too. Haven't you seen the headlines? The Christmas thieves have beat Little Dub Hachiman City at last. No, this is the first time I've ever heard of them. I think. Grant the Thieves, this is the first time I've ever heard the name of this town. Maybe it just never comes up in conversation or anything. Or you know. Do they show up every year at this time? I don't remember hearing anything about them last year. This is the first time they've come here. I don't know too much either, but apparently they move around each year. I worked at Mr. Udashaha's Tab, Torimi Cafe, during the summer. The job was only until August, but apparently he decided he needs help for December as well. The world industry gets very cold this time of year, making it dangerous to come late. So I left the Toyota this time. That and any time to study. And it's something Torimi Cafe's mysterious these latest victim. This smacks of drama. 
drama, excitement, and adventure. Oh my god. I need a moment. I object! What was that for? Just getting the feel for it. There's been an incident, right? I didn't even make sure my finger foot is official. Oh my god. It's sufficiently dramatic for when I need to use it. Eh? Please don't go around pointing and shouting at stuff. You'll give me a heart attack. Tell me, who's the victim? And the suspect? The victim is Mr. Rabu. He's attacked from behind while texting a picture of Mr. Burushihara's Christmas tree in Tazami. And when we found him, the tree was gone. Hold on! God, they're trying to get into this. Into <laughs> Phoenix Wright. What was that for? What do you mean the tree was gone? Please don't shout everything! You can just ask! Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> Jeez. Well, sealing the tree definitely implicates the Christmas thieves. They must be wandering the town stealing any trees they see. It's... it's horrible! Mr. Lushihara and I worked really hard to decorate that tree, too. And now all the customers who are looking forward to seeing it will be disappointed. Monstrous! How could they steal Mr. Odisha's incredibly classy hand-decorated tree? Let's look for the thieves! Chris is at the weekend. They must still be in town. I wonder. They probably are still prowling around here looking for trees. Yes. I want to get Mr. Odisha's tree back anyway. Let's find them, Pocky! We can start today! Fine, stretch goal three thousand dollars and tee hee again. <laughs> you two are awfully loud today. Can you not grant the rest of us a little peace and quiet? Oh, Sake, listen! They've appeared! The white demons stand poised to shatter the silence of that most holy night! You can't just give us go around giving us nicknames like a certain someone next door, Pocky. If you raise three, if you, let's see, we were at, like, current, it's like 17, 18 right now. If you get $1,200 from people to make me go to say that again, I will gladly say it again. I, uh, <laughs> twice, even. I'll even, I'll even be coquettish and put my hand in front of my face or something. Ah. <sighs> Christmas trees are being stolen all around town, Sakuya. Maybe you've already heard? Ah, you must be referring to that dribble the local rag devoted an entire page to. Disgusting. Is there not more important news to be run now of all seasons? How telling is it? How telling it is that so much attention is devoted to such foolishness. You don't like Christmas, Sakuya? What? From where do you think I hailed, plebeian? France, right? One million dollars. Uh, oh, of course. Christmas probably means a lot more to you than does us Japanese people. The council room is already decorated with the most fabulous tree. A label overlooks nothing. I've even named a place near the window so that the masses may gaze up at it in awe and wonder. Be grateful! He who does not celebrate Christmas is no true bird. That is the true importance Christmas holds for us. In other words, Sayang is extra jolly this time of year. Better take notes. Trees are being stolen from in front of shops and on the sidewalk and other easily visible places. So you should probably be careful too, Sakuya. Don't let it get stolen! Huh. Do not place me on the same level as you Orientals with your infantile understanding of private security. Wow, Orientals, really? F you, dude! Ahem. <clears throat> Current. Did I not say I overlooked nothing? I know not who this villain may be, but he shall not step. He shall step not one centimeter within my territory. 
The council room security is flawless, I tell you. Flawless! Sakuya, we call that sort of line a flag here in Japan. Let's start an investigation by asking people around town, Ryota. Good idea. Let us know if you hear anything new or get robbed, Sakuya. How many times must I tell you? My tree will not be stolen! Oh. Upon leaving the building, Ryota and I are greeted by the sight of Okosan. <laughs> of Okosan. Prancing your found on the track. Prancing, or maybe skipping? I'm not sure. At any rate, he appears to be pointedly high spirits. And pointedly high spirits. <laughs> You're in a good mood today, son. Did something good happen? <laughs> it's Christmas! Christmas is almost here! What? Another Christmas fiend? Is there something about Christmas that wakes the just ancestral jollity? <laughs> Jo jollity uh, inside a dove's heart? Is that a word? Jollity? Cool, cool. Everything is extra sparkly at Christmas. Okosan is excited. Cool, cool. And everything smells like delicious food. Okosan is very excited. Western pastry shops always look so tempting this time of year. You spend a lot of time in department stores, right, son? Have you heard anything about the Christmas thieves? Who? Cool? Who? Cool? Villains ought to steal Okosan's delicious, gl delicious grub! Villains ought to steal pretty Christmas trees! <laughs> ah, like, jollity for knowledge, I see. Cuckoo! Christmas trees? Yes, Okosan knows all about them! Coo! The trees at Okosan's favorite high society seagull department store disappeared. High society seagull department store? Do you know where that is, Ryota? Yeah, I've worked at the sample table there. I'll show you the way. So we've got a mystery. This is... <laughs> wow. I need a little bit. Sorry, my head hurts. Ah, not, from this, not from this game, just in general. Wow. Here we come, High Society Seagull Department Store. <sighs> I love you too, Hilder. I have a feeling these are going to be really short, probably mainly like two or three of the stories. Hmm. Department stores always feel a little unrealistic, a little decadent maybe. It makes it so hard to go in. They're okay, really. Just don't think about that. They'll be fine. He read my mind? More importantly, we need to ask the clerk about the thefts. Right, right. Um, excuse me? Yes, may I help you? Do you know where you are, young lady? Um, this is the High Society Civil Department Store, right? That is correct. The High Society Department Seagull Department Store. Say it once more! The High Society Seagull Department Store! Good. The store is of High Society, by High Society, and for High Society. It is no place for obviously low society humans. Please leave! Uh, I don't know, actually, Kenty. Uh, I mean, this I've never played this one, ever, literally. You know, I told i told Dom that I'd put it on stream once I had a chance to put it on stream, so I'm putting it on stream. I have no idea if... So, I don't know. I object! That is... This is blatant speciesism! I hope you're ready to swallow your words or defend them with steel, Cretan. Draw, man, draw, before I stick you with, like, your kissery chicken! What the heck? Calm down, Pocky. Getting to a fight here won't do us any good. Please, don't act like San. And just what does Uncle San have that makes him so much high society than me? I can creep. Please, we just want to ask you a question. We'll leave right away. Did the Christmas thieves really break into the store? I don't know if there's actually gonna be a chance to like go at, if it's the same as same setup as the first game or if this is just like the side stories or what actually on you. So I, I don't know. Really I don't. <laughs> they did not break into the store, no. They were not allowed in. However, as you know, the store faces onto the street. The three Christmas trees we had arranged outside were stolen. The trees placed outside. Just like a Tony Me Cafe. 
Yeah, looks like they're really aiming at really hard for easy targets first. They seem to be quite crafty. I think this might get difficult, Ryota. Ah, I can feel the thrill of the chase. My hunter-gatherer blood boils! A French accent? I, 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 I will try if he has any more lines. Right on time. I knew it was a good idea to ask you along. The stolen trees were of little value. We have already sent away for new ones. I feel like I'm being racist. <laughs> Do you think you can wait a little longer before, little before setting them up? The thieves might come back. True, but Christmas is almost here. I wow, I cannot do. <laughs> if not now, when will we put them out? Christmas trees are just so much rubbish once the twenty sixth. Anju requested. I believe Anju donated, so I have to say yes. They're not rubbish. You can use them every year. Um, were there any witnesses? The trees were in a blind spot between security cameras, so alas, we had nothing. Too busy staring down at your own noses to look out the window, were you? I hope I never see you again here. I hope I never see you here again, young lady. This hurts. Well, that was a disappointment. About all we found out is that the thieves aim for trees placed in vulnerable spots outside. Maybe we should leave. Leave the store, stop by the furniture section, and stop by the clothing section. Uh, so here we go. Choices. Um, it's Christmas. It's just Christmas. Let's do some Christmas shopping at the clothing section. All these pretty clothes make me feel out of face. It's out of place, not face. He did it again. Can Marge even wear clothes like these? Aren't they just for decoration? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Shops are always so pretty this time of year. I feel like I'm looking into a different world. They do look a little unreal. Do you like Christmas, Baki? My family's Shin Buddhist, so I've never really celebrated it, but... I do like it when everybody's all festive. I'm not exactly Christian, but I like the atmosphere too. Actually, I don't think that many people celebrate it for religious reasons anymore. And there's all kinds of work this time of year too. I always end up really busy. You dress up as Santa, right? Yep. With a mini skirt? Yep. Why does Frodo really like? Oh my god. Why does Yoda get all the female main character jobs? That must be fun. I'd like to try doing something cute in high school. High school girlish like that sometime too. I'm not sure how sure how costumes are high school girlish, but I can refer you. We could go together next year. Cosplaying as Santa right before junior year exams. Just thinking about it makes my heart flutter. This is even more bizarre than the actual main game. This is there's nothing more to find here. Let's look somewhere else. Alright, where to next? The thefts have gotten onto the news. If we ask around, we should find some eyewitnesses. Sounds good. <laughs> Sound of surprise? What? Huh? Some glass object splinters. Some glass object splinters with a mo monumental crash behind us as we make for the exit. I turn around and. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! What the high holy hell? Christmas! What are those? They look a little like doves, but not really? Are they? Maybe they are doves? In any case, a pair of bizarre white creatures are bludgeoning themselves against a number of glass Christmas trees and reindeer. What are those? Are they doves? Um, I'm not sure. Never seen anything like them. Merry 
Merry Christmas! Merry... Oh my god, what the hell? Honey, come here a second. You need to see this. You need to see this. It's just insane. I, I, I think they're supposed to be birds, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, what about them? They'll, I'll try to have a recording of this up on YouTube later on, Anju. The creatures frolic through the Christmas display like fuzzy wrecking balls, leaving behind nothing but broken glass and lost profits. Have a good dinner, Anju. There! There! The white children! Oh dear, that is no good. You two! Where are your parents? Christmas! In any case, I'll have to take you to the employees' lounge. High society does have rules. Merry Christmas? The creatures trail dejectedly, dejectedly after the security guard. What were those? That's all I want to know. I can't, bl I can't believe people let their kids learn, run loose like that. I'd love to see the parents' face when they get billed. But I'm okay. I guess Christmas gets everyone pretty excited. Sort of like demons would rampage during the full moon. What? Ryota and I spent some time asking around town, but no one had ever caught sight of the thieves. Apparently, trees aren't just being stolen from outside, but from inside houses as well. If only we knew what the culprits looked like. Thank you for your efforts. We searched around where we had where we had the tree, but we couldn't find any clues. I'm sorry, Mr. Odoshara. You didn't see them either, Mr. Odoshara? Odoshara? Correct. By the time Mr. Kawada and I got outside, the tree was already gone. That said, was there something else? Please, look at this. Mr. Rabo sent it to me a few minutes ago. Mr. Onushihara prefers, prefers his cell phone. A smartphone! Fancy! You mean these shadows are? Mr. Rabu took th said he took this before he was rendered unconscious. Suspicious shadows carrying away the tree. They must be the culprits! Those silhouettes look awfully familiar. Or maybe it's just my imagination. Probably nothing. I wouldn't have gotten this far in the vicious food chain if I was worried about little things like that. There are two of them, then. They're awfully small. Though it's a little hard to see in this picture. Mr. Rabo has always been one for strange little phones, so it would seem that his resolution is not particularly high. That does seem like him. This will help us a lot, Mr. Lishihara. Thank Mr. Rabo for us, too. How is he doing right now? Azami's taking care of him. Rabo always seems a little bit incapable, or like he's in a suddenly bad position. Sort of like he's always stuck being a background character. It's not much, but we found a clue. We'll pick up the trail tomorrow morning. Ah, oh, God. Later that evening at St. Pigeonations. Salutations, Mr. One! It's rather chilly tonight, isn't it? Mr. One, one. Wow, Richard. You're still here, Sakazaki Yuya? Have you been instructed to leave the other students accepting emergencies? There's a little something going on, actually. Aside from the usual. And what would that be? There have been orders to investigate the Christmas thieves. High priority. That's the string of thefts involving Christmas trees, isn't it? It's not as if they're growing legs and walking away, after all. And it's a little hard to imagine them spontaneously disappearing. I wanted the night of sexy and luxurious discussion of sweet holiday love without a sparkling tree. I'm quite happy to take up the job to defend everything the ladies and gentlemen of the town have worked so hard to prepare for this special season. You certainly seem eager enough. It's 
good to have a little zeal, but don't, don't go letting your guard down just because of the case in question is completely idiotic. We never know who may have laid traps for us where. Roger that. I'll carve it to my pigeon heart, Mr. One. Eh? I'll go take a look at a few things then. There's a tree here on campus after all. First I've heard of it. Where's it set up? In the student council room. You can see it from the grounds. Saki must want to show it off with his big fine all natural tree. With his big fine all natural tree. He doesn't let anybody touch it, but you can always see it in his window. It's really quite childish. Nothing wrong with a little vanity while he's still young. To a point, at least. Anyway, I'll go take a look at the council room and then head into town. I'll send my report to HQ later. Adieu! That's right, he's French too, sort of. The Christmas Thieves? Stealing the town's festivities is hardly an admirable pursuit. I suppose I'll see if I can rustle up any gadgets to give Sakazaki a hand. Suddenly we're in Conan, too. The council room certainly has gotten some fancy renovations since Saki arrived. But this is him I'm dealing with. It'll look like sneaking in is going to be hard, but knowing him, it'll look, it'll look like something obvious. What was that? Bah, this could be bad. I smell explosives. What? It's cold. Really cold. The morning air at this time of year is dangerous indeed. It makes my nose hurt. The birds are all full of plumage. I wonder what it's like wearing a down comforter everywhere. I wish I had winter plumage. Sadly, my skin is as bare and tender as my heart, so I might as well hurry up and get to school. Wow! That. Wow! Okay. Huh? There's an awful lot of activity on the grounds today. A crowd of birds is milling around the inside of the building. Stay calm, everyone. It may be dangerous, so don't get too close. Let's make sure nobody gets hurt, alright? Mr. Nanaki! What's happened? It must be bad if you're up and about and wide awake at this time of day. Oh, good morning, Kaneyama. Well... It looks like the thieves broke in, I suppose. The thieves? Could he mean? That's right, the Christmas thieves. Apparently it broke in last night. It seems they took the tree from the student council room. <laughs> nice work, Sakuya! Nice flag retrieval! But Saki looks so self sat <clears throat> But Saki looks so self satisfied when you talk with there. Yeah. Let me try that again, folks. <clears throat> but Saki looks so self satisfied when he was talking about a sec perfect security. What happened? Mm. Well, look up. Huh? And then up at the council room? Dramatic music. You know, they're pretty beat up considering they're basically just under their own castle. The council room's window, or rather its walls, blasted open. Wow, they're not just thieves now. I bet they had to break at least five more laws to pull that off. They certainly do seem to want Christmas trees. They would have been better off just asking, though. Huh? The tree was placed near that window, right? But they broke in like this. Ah! I let my gaze drop as I was lost in thought. I see something white on the ground. It's extremely hard to tell what it is. It's extremely hard to tell what it mixed in with the broken glass and bits of plaster. But it looks like some sort of fur. It's not a feather. It looks like something came off of a stuffed animal, or maybe some sort of mammal. But I'm the only mammal in the school. This could be a valuable clue. Standing here won't help me find anything out, though. I need to get to I need to get Saki to tell me exactly what happened. I might as well check a few other things along the way. Where to first? <laughs> council room or the library? Uh, I think I'm gonna go to the council room. Uh, we, uh, because the clues are there. Let's go there. The council room is wrapped in an unusually serious atmosphere. As if, a, as if a robbery were enough, there was even a bombing. Out of those two, the latter is almost certainly the more worrying. Paki! Oh, Ryota, good morning. 
As you can see, Saki has magnificently recovered the flag he raised the other day. As expected of an aristocrat. Uh, yeah, that was definitely a first class flag retrieval. He certainly got me looking at the thefts more seriously. Flags, right. Now then, on to the crime scene! <laughs> wow. Big asshole. Wow. Sakura's full security is completely destroyed. I like the laptop has the uh, Huddleful Boyfriend logo on it. It's a nice touch. What is this lunacy? Do you mean to tell me that bombing school buildings is coming practice in this barbaric land? Um, no, I don't think it is. I've never seen anything like this before. This is beyond the pale. Who conceived this wretched plot? Who? Oh! Wasn't your security perfect, Sakuya? I thought you said it was on, on a completely new level compared to our primitive concepts. Ah, it was perfect! Around the door, at least! What kind of rascal blows their way through the wall? If they're going to break in, why not act with some sense of decency and coming through the door? Oh, yes, Chris is actually right next to my computer, so he's probably hearing me through stuff too, but whatever. I'm tired. Blowing up the window isn't exactly a common way of forcing an entry, but isn't it a bit of a problem if there's only a security on the front door? <laughs> Did you see the criminals at all, Sakuya? No. I, too, only learned of this upon arriving this morning. But... Look! Look at that! He gestures at the corner by the window. There's a pile of blackened stuff on the floor. What is that? What is that, actually? Wait, is that... The Christmas tree? Or what's left of it? Ah, I see. Well, you know. I don't know if other children are going to be watching this, so... Looks like I got all blown up along with the window. I was wondering if something had happened to the tree. It was right next to the window, and, and while they got blown up, after all. Nothing left but ashes. They've left the criminal ultimatum next to it. An ultimatum? They've done that before, have they? Let's take a look. We oopsed. We are very sad. The tree went boom. Saw we. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Right. Um. We oopsed. We're very sad the tree went boom. Saw we. It's a little lonely, but we're <coughs> taking Miss. Oh. It's a little lonely, but we're taking Mr. Sparkly Star. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's the ultimatum? It reads more like a kid's note apologizing for breaking Auntie Mildred's antique vase. <laughs> Those scoundrels! To take the tree topper, the most valuable part, and run! Tree topper? The star that sits at the very top of the tree. Oh! So that's what it's called! Right, my character's kind of dumb. I forgot about that. They destroyed the tree and stole the topper! This is a dreadful affront to my illustrious name! I swear I shall seek them, find them, and impose upon them strict judgments! That would be vigilance. Vigilance. <laughs> God, this dialogue. That would be vigilantism, Sakia. Japan is a constitutional nation. You can't do that. <coughs> but it's not as if I don't see where he's coming from. If I spent that much time and effort decorating something just to have it someone blow, it up, blow up the room that's standing in, I'd be pretty oh. angry too. Mr. Odishiha's tree stolen. Sakia's tree is reduced to cinders and the top, top are stolen. <laughs> We have to make sure these tragedies don't repeat. But we can't really find the culprits just from this apology, or Christmas card, or ultimatum, or whatever it is. Let's ask Mr. O Let's ask Mr. Oni if he saw anything. He's on night shift, so he should have been here. Oh, good plan. Lead us there, Kanehama. Start treating me like your underling, you satin pants prey chicken. You two go ahead. I'll stay here and see if I can find any, oh, any more clues. 
So you know the wow, Ryota. It's awfully cold in here. I guess with a wall hole that large in the wall, I might as well be outside. Doctor Iwamine, I expected to see you in here. I came to see the corpse. What corpse? Where'd you hear the news? It was a corpse. Oh, no corpse. And here I had my hopes up. Please don't say that with such a genuinely dejected look on your face. Well, no matter. It still is quite the fascinating crime scene. I suppose I shall look around. Please, don't mind me. I have no intention of interfering with you. I see no reason to have any evidence. Just yet. Just yet? What the hell? Ho ho ho! Alone with a doctor in a half collapsed room. I hope I make it out of here alive. Excuse us. What is this depressing room? It's the maintenance office. Mr. Ona's headquarters are here too. I think it's comfy. It feels very lived in. Comfy? Humph! Let us do whatever we are here and do here for and leave before the poverty and reprehensibility rub off. Jeez. Mr. One, are you in here? Salutations, mon ami. Did you come to visit me? Yuya? He's sitting at a low tea table. Oh no. The irresponsible suddenly worn out Yuya might just be a little too <laughs> might just might be just a little too attractive. I knew it! A place as disgusting as this is bound to draw a disgusting company. And a very fine morning to you too, Sagaya. We came to talk to Mr. One. What brought you here, Yuya? I'm holding down the fort while Mr. One is out. Out? Immediately after a break-in? Suspicious indeed! I suggest we apprehend him at the very first opportunity. You must understand. He's taking care of a few things so our investigation of the theft can go more smoothly. After all, he and I both saw... Yuya and One? You saw the crime in progress? What? We did indeed. It's not easy being a hero of justice. Trouble always seems to come to find you. Seems to come to you. Why did you not notify me immediately? Filthy mongrel! Notify you how? I've been asking for your phone number for months, and you always blow me off. Gah! Did you see the culprit, Yuya? Yes. Fear some foes indeed. Set your boots too far into this, and you'll think you could lose them. Don't say I haven't warned you. Huff! How like you, Mongrel, to cower in this filthy hovel out of fear. I, for my part, shall find these wrongdoers and have my revenge. I, too, swear to retrieve these stolen trees on my honor as a hunter-gatherer. How brave of you. Let me reward your courage with a little evidence. You need to pick up one of a number of photographs lined up on the table and hold it out to us. They were already on the way out when I arrived at the scene, and alas, I was unable to keep their trail. But I am a professional, and I couldn't just let them get away. I made sure to capture them on the film. These are the culprits. Uh, of course it's them. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot! What are these? White things! Oh! See? They shot even a bold lady, lady, a bold lady of hunter gather origin. That's not it, Yuya. I know these creatures. Oh, are they friends of yours? Who are they? And where do they live? Tell me this instant! I don't know who they are exactly. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> and they don't break themselves again. You two! Where are your parents? Barry! Christmas! In any case, I'll take you to the company, to the employee's lounge. High society does have rules. I like the hat just drawn on uh, the girl's head there. Merry Christmas? Those are the two things. Those are the two things that get scolded by the security guard in the high society sealed department store, aren't they? 
They were caught breaking things in the Christmas section of a department store yesterday. It got taken away by security. Watch it! Looks like they'll go after anything with Christmas on it. <laughs> like to sympathize with their enthusiasm on the, for the Holy Night. We thought they were only going after easy targets, but it looks like once they get set on something, they won't rest until it is theirs or destroyed. The entire city is filled with Christmas decorations. We have no way of knowing where they will strike next, and thus no way of ambushing them. Not necessarily. We can lure them easily with an extravagant, tr extravagant tree in an obvious place, don't you think? They've got guts, but they don't seem particularly intelligent. I agree with you, yeah. I think we should try to bait them. Then it's settled. And the best bait would be the finest tree in the city. Right, Sakuya? The finest tree in town. Do you know of a good one, Sakuya? Are you suggesting we use the LeBelle family's Christmas tree as a lure, mongrel? Of course! Do you know how much you put work you put into the castle room tree? He almost certainly has a gorgeous decadent tree at home. It seems like the best choice. And you're about to just let them get away with having burned your other tree, are you? Of course not! Where's your tree set up, Sophia? In the main salon. It is not visible from outside. It would take a great deal of time and labor to move it outside and redecorate it. I do not think it's a realistic option. Hmm. We'll have to rely on newspaper ads and word of mouth then. The LaBelle family moved here to Little Dove Hachiman City from France. Is displaying its gorgeous Christmas tree to the public, or something. Who said anything about opening a mansion to the public? Why not take the opportunity to show off a little? It's your first Christmas here, after all. And it should help spread the LaBelle family's reputation. Come on, Sakuya. Open it up to the whole city. Let everybody know you have an extravagantly, extravagantly decorated tree at home. Thieves should, should hear the rumors, and they'll come to see. And then we can catch them. Very well. I shall assist you. Cool. I'll get everything ready for the announcement of the from neighbors. Something like, The LaBelle family's Christmas tree is open for public viewing tonight. All Christmas enthusiasts welcome. We'll be fine, right? That sounds good. But what kind of super high school student are you? You have much clout with the local newspaper companies. Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm just cool, tiny. Any male would become super poor ladies will be yourself, Mom. I should be off then. Adieu! I really should have like remembered whose voices are what and like done proper accents for various people. Loose tongued cur! You use laying the bait for us, so. Should we work on a plan to catch the thieves at your house, Sophia? A reasonable suggestion? We shall plan our strategy after school then. <coughs> it's still midday, but the wind is cold. At least today was a half day. It'd be freezing in here if it was already evening. Why are we having the meeting in here, Sakuya? Is it not obvious? Because this is my domain! Your domain? Though despoiled? Come? Do you mock me? Yes. There is no despoiled in the dictionary of labels. Whatever. Let's just make our plan already. No one Sakuya is unexpectedly good at getting off topic. These explosives here. How do you think they'll attack the mansion? I don't know. No, Hilder. No. Why would you? Why would you say such a hateful, awful thing, Hilder? No, I don't what want are to. You uh, uh, what? What? They might pretend to be normal guests sneaking the front entrance. <laughs> they might, yes. But their goal is the tree. They might, yes. But their goal is the tree, so even if they get inside, they will not be able to remove the tree. Yuya's photograph showed them to be quite small, so there's no way the two of them could carry it out. How could they get it outside, then? I think they would need some sort of heavy machinery. <laughs> so you think they'll show up in a truck or something? Chris, no. Any suspicious vehicle approaching the mansion will be neutralized immediately. They may have some milk on it. So, we need to have guards watching in all directions for any sort of truck or crane. 
The mansion opens at 7. Should we be there this evening too? I love you too, Hilda. Yes. That should help things go the most smoothly. I'll see you two there then. We need to catch these deeds before Christmas itself arrives. I still have some time before I need to go to Sakuya's house. Not quite enough to go all myself. What should I do? Maybe I should go pick up some sort of weapon in town. Didn't Uncle say something about one of the old shops in town starting to stock Excalibur? Maybe I should go there. Excalibur? Hmm? A familiar figure emerges from the chemistry lab. Doctor? No, sorry. Doctor? Ah, uh, if it isn't Miss Young Miss Kanyama. You are done with classes for the day, yes? What business have you here? I'm Bleed just did, did a different accent for him. I was just heading home. What about you, sir? He appears to be trying to hide the large rack of test tubes he's carrying. I was doing some tests to confirm some things. To think that I would only get access to these samples now. It is simply unreasonable. He looks genuinely displeased. Has he ever been this openly emotional before? Maybe the tests went badly? Well, I'm not sure what's going on, but... Cheer up, sir. I'm sure something good will come of it. Something good? That is the last thing I want. And with that blunt remark, he heads off towards the infirmary. I wish you could share some of my cheerfulness with him. I have so much to my teeth with it. Tell me, Miss Kaneyama. Yes, sir? He stops and turns around. Do you have any food allergies? Um, allergies? Like the peanuts or fish? To soybeans, for instance. No, I don't. I don't think I do, at least. Is that so? He walks away, a self-satisfied expression on his face. You need to explain, you need to explain why you're asking, sir. If you just walk away looking pleased like that, you'll get reported. I'll measure you. I'm, I'm so sorry, Chris. I can only imagine. So I guess Christmas tree will open, be, will be open for display in just a few minutes. Staff birds walk busily about the mansion. In the center of the Grand Salon... That's a big tree. That must be the tree. Such a vast presence, even in a room, even in a room this large. It certainly would be difficult to carry it away by hand. There appears to be quite a crowd gathered, quite a crowd gathered outside today. Apparently, there are plainclothes security officers scattered throughout the line. There are, of course, a great number of security personnel within the mansion as well. Have no worries. Oh my God. Have no worry. Have no fear. The classy, reliable gold guard is here. Ah, the gold guard. Straight when necessary, an iron hand masking the velvet glove. I feel safer already. Your house really is huge, Sakuya. Isn't it tough to clean? I cannot comprehend your question. Why should I worry over such things when I have servants? You didn't even know how to use a mop until just recently, after all. That sort of foolery is for commoners! It has nothing to do with a noble such as myself. Aw, oh, what a waste. You have to make you a domestic genius, Sophia. Chris, no. Honey, yeah. You were way more help at the end of the year clip than he was expected. Uh, Sakai appears troubled. No doubt I'm sure if you should take that as a, a praise or as an insult. In any case! I have deigned to reveal my magnificent Christmas tree before the eyes of beggars and thieves. Are you sure that thieves will come? I think it depends on them. You did a good job of getting the word out. I think we can safely say they know about it. I have deployed elite bodyguards in the employee of the LaBelle family throughout the entire area. The thieves will be captured within two seconds of arrival. Mr. Sakuya? What is it, Albert? 
A letter has arrived, sir. Here it is, sir. Ha ha ha! What does it say, Sakuya? They've got guts. It's a letter announcing their nefarious intent. It says they're coming? May I see? Sakuya hands a letter to Ryota. It says. Oh my god. We want the big tree. Merry Christmas. We want the big tree. Merry Christmas. Christopher Don Kim! This. I guess it's a letter of intent? An awfully cute one. It might almost be a Christmas card or a letter to Santa. They want the tree. I expect us to hand it over. If they want it, they can come and claim it. Merry Christmas. They say you won't give it to us. Merry Christmas. They say if we want it, we should come and take it. There they are. Sakuya, behind you! <gasps> Merry Christmas! It's time for Plan B! There! It's them, Sakuya! The Christmas thieves! What? After them! Seize them! Have you not all your eyes, you confounded gull? How did they get this in this far? Were they hoping to get the tree? <laughs> The music just shifted, so I'm just, just messing me up, sorry. Were they hoping to get the tree just by asking nicely? It's no good, Sakuya. I tried my best to catch them too, but they got away. I received no words from the security teams either. It would appear they have escaped. What a dreadful waste of an opportunity. They said something about Plan B before they left, right? I don't think they've given up yet. We'd better stay on guard. I am well aware. Let us return to the mansion. Ah, it's cold. The thieves haven't shown up yet either. It's almost midnight already. Maybe they've gone home for the day and are all snug and cozy under a kotatsu. Ah, I want to be under a kotatsu. I have prepared some ginger tea for you, miss. Please. Oh, the butler. Thank you so much. I always thought black butlers know just what you need. Oh, boy. Indeed. Miss. <laughs> what word from outside? Nothing to report. Scheduled check-ins from all teams are on time, Master. Nothing to report. <laughs> have, those have those cowards given up already? It's way too late for us to be up and about. I wish they'd just tell us if they're tell us if they're coming or not. What was that noise? Oh my god. Enemy armor in the northwest sector! We're under attack! Sakaya, Ryota, let's go! They have a tank. The nighttime streets are filled with sudden activity. That guard mentioned armor, right? Which means. They've brought some sort of vehicle, like a truck or something. It matters not. My elite in the Bell Security will have them neutralized in a matter of seconds. A report, Master Sakuya. Sit down. The Labelle Security forces were neutralized in seconds. You see? This is what happens to those who stand against the Labelle family. Ha ha ha! Sakuya, wait! That's not what he said! He said were, not have! What? Indeed, sir. This noise. Something's coming. Look at that. It's a tread job. It's the Christmas thieves. In a tank? 
Wow! They weren't bringing just a truck. This is way more than I expected. Merry Christmas! We're stealing the tree! We're stealing the tree! Rumble, 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 rumble. Gah! What do we do? It's headed right to- They brought live ammunition! Stop! Stop! What sort of demons would damage my beautiful mansion? There are still birds inside! Uh, <clears throat> there are still birds inside! I'll go get them out of here! Out of there! They blew up the council room without a second thought. At this rate, your house is going to end up looking like mine! I cannot have that! We need to stop them! What can I do? I need to stop the thieves' tank! Oh no, here comes the choice. Fist of the teenage girl or mailbox attack? I think I'm gonna go with Fist of the Teenage Girl. Anyone have any preferences? I'll give you guys a minute to like look over that real fast. Mailbox attack, Mailbox attack. You have one vote for mailbox attack over here. One vote for mailbox attack, one vote for Fist of the Teenage Girl. And yes, Andy, you're, that is true. Uh, any other votes for anything? Oh, uh, yes! So we had two votes for Fist. I need to stop. But should Chris's vote count for more because he's my son? <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh, Chris, Fist of the Teen. Oh, Chris wants me to use both. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with Fist of the Teenage Girl because okay. Chris just didn't say that too. All right, here we go. Fist of the Teenage Girl. If this makes me do the Fist of the North Star sound, I will. I will do I will do this, this sound. I clench my fists and assume the stance. The enemy is straight ahead. They cannot dodge. I can feel the strength of Gaia beneath me. My love, my life, I place in his hand. I make my declaration here. The Empress arrives! Take this! Immobile fist of the irrational teenage girl! Nothing. It did nothing at all. I'm sorry, Sakuya. I've never tried to hunt an animal made of metal before, so I don't know where its weak points are. Even my elite, even my elite gods were no match for it. There's nothing a bird or a human can do to that thing. A sharp crack echoes through the night, and the tank stops? No, no, no. A gentleman dove must never give us some easy, Sakuya. He's got a sniper rifle around his neck. <laughs> what? Yuya! And you've got the lady, lady up this late? Never mind the thieves, you're the real villain here. Please, forgive him, Monami. Oh no, it's fine. I wasn't able to do anything anyway. You rascal! What is that thing? What kind of high school student has one of those? This is an anti-material rifle. I must have item for young men in Japan these days. What? Do not mock me with jests! But something, even I have a broad axe. Of course a fashionable young man like Yuya is going to have an assault rifle or two. Precisely. I hope you've learned something about Japan Japanese culture today, Sakuya. Japan. Truly a complicated and confounding place. Yuya, look out! It's still moving! It would seem so. Alas, I was hoping to have things cleared up and be walking this with Lady Hong by now. Don't lay a finger on Kanayama, you lecherous cur! She is my underling! Since when? The lady never likes a man who tries to monopolize her, Kasakuya. Don't bend my words! 
I had no such thing in mind. <laughs> you sure? Anyway, it's time to end this. Adieu, mysterious thieving duo. It stopped! Nice job, Yuya. You're acting, you're acting straight up cool for once. Why, thank you, Monami. I am honored by your words. Merry Christmas. Connect this with this. Merry Christmas. Stick that there. Merry Christmas! We fixed it! We fixed it! Yay! It, it's not dead yet! Oh, oh dear. I thought I had mobilized it. Have you no other plan, Kerr? I had not prepared I have not prepared any ordinance, no. It seems I have met my match. For your preparations, would a super strict like you really do it that easily? But I'm not done yet, Monami. That said, those two possess an unusual degree of Pocky, look out! Eek! Or more the traditional Kya! Pocky, are you hurt? <laughs> I'm fine. You your wait! Your tail! Your tail is burnt! It smells delicious! Um Right, she's a human. Hunter-gatherer, right. All that matters is that you're safe. A little part like this is just another metal bravery. Sakazaki, you fool! Don't go raising flags here! Come on, we'll withdraw! You seem to be having difficulties. <gasps> what expected him to show up here? Dr. Yuamine? Why are you here? I took the liberty of examining the student council room this morning. I find this case rather interesting. I could help you out if you like. Of course, if you don't need my assistance, I will leave. I do have other things to be doing after all. I can't really see his face in the darkness, but he sounds even more uninterested than usual. Maybe he's in a bad mood again. But, I think the doctor would bluff about something like this, right? I think you will find me more reliable than the sage and self-confident dove at your side. What a sharp tongue you have, doctor! Please, doctor Yuamine! If, if you have some way of stopping those thieves, please help us! I had hoped to take them alive, but at this point our objective you have decided to obliterate them entirely! Sakuya, no! They're doing bad things, but I can never live with myself without you kill something that adorable. I have no intention of killing them, Miss Kaneyama. Yes! The doctor tosses a ball. Or rather, a sort of oblong metallic lump at me. Throw it at the tank. You should be able to limit enough force to rupture the casing. Ah! It's a grenade! Leave it to me, sir! hi yeah! Look! Look, I did it! Hole in one! Well done. You have a good throwing arm. But what did that do? There was no great explosion! A tear gas bomb, right? Huh? The tank is swathed in some sort of gas? What? Doctor, we must withdraw. We'll be affected too. And won't be able to secure the thieves. Can you stand, Yuya? We need to get... The gas is spreading throughout the entire area. We need to get back to the mansion and send out guards with gas masks. The gas has no effect. On us, anyway. Huh? Uh... <laughs> Chew! The tank hatch opens, and the two white creatures stagger out. Aw, oh, they look terrible. Finding an allergen specific to them was quite simple. I found plenty of samples to work with in the council room, after all. They are currently experiencing symptoms similar to those exhibited by people suffering from pollen allergies. The allergen, in this case, is soybean flour. Mr. Sakazaki had already created a number of holes in the body of the tank, 
so it diffused in quite beautifully. I am pleased to see it worked. How kind of you to give me some credit, despite my miserable failure. I had expected that from you. You're an exemplary teacher. Thank you, Mr. Sakazaki. You flattered me. Sir, how did you know so much about these previously unidentified creatures? Looks like he's still in a bad mood. He's staring off into space. <laughs> Were the tests he was doing this afternoon for this? If so, it was an undeniable success. Shouldn't he be happy? Anyway, they're ours now! Tie them up! I should stop. I should probably get something to eat, but I feel like this is getting close to the end. So yeah, I'll finish this up, and that's the end of the stream for today. And so our freezing midnight war came to an end, of sorts. Accept your fate, Christmas thieves! You've nowhere left to run! Now identify yourselves! Merry Christmas! You won't get any home any quicker by looking sad. What are your names? Miru. Kaku. Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku? That's all? Why did you two do all this? Quite frankly, I don't give a hoot about Christmas, and as far as I'm concerned, it's just so much capitalist commercialized rubbish. But there are plenty of birds who really care about it. It's not nice to ruin their fun. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas is all Miru and Kaku have. Merry Christmas. Christmas is included in Miru and Kaku's very instincts. I'm sure there's some kind of joke or something going along. They told Miru and Kaku they were never meant to be born. Wow, what the hell? No one was to give them life, but they were born on Christmas Eve. Wow, what the F? Because they weren't meant to, meant to be born, they had to be removed. So Miru and Kaku were abandoned. Miru and Kaku aren't real. Miru and Kaku are alive. But Miru and Kaku are different. So Miru and Kaku couldn't be put outside. But Miru and Kaku couldn't stay. So Miru and Kaku were going to be burned. Wow. So Miru and Kaku said goodbye. Miru and Kaku said goodbye to their home. I thought they looked more like some sort of strange mammals than like birds, but I never would have guessed they would have a backstory like that. It's too cruel, Doctor. To create pitiful hybrid beings in your mad scientist experiments and then try to kill them? Maybe you felt your creation violated the laws of nature. But artificial creatures are still alive, just like us. They have the right to... Please... Do not misunderstand. I am not responsible for their creation. What? He's not? I thought I was being clever, <clears throat> but I think I've made some terrible mistake. Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku's daddy was a merry daddy. He liked parties. Merry! Merry Christmas! Daddy celebrated all through December, especially Christmas. They look excited to the point of getting their memories mixed up. It is a story of long ago, from long ago. An accident in a certain lab caused the birth of two hybrid life forms. None of the researchers had expected their creation. At first, at first, the new life forms had hoped to hold great scientific were hoped to hold great scientific value, but they soon proved to be almost identical to existing birds. Once the investigation was complete, they were to be disposed of. But there was one researcher who acted irresponsibly. The researcher was charged with taking care of them. May I ask what you intend to do with them? Do you need to ask? They'll be tried in the court of law, naturally. But they're identified creatures, born from the exit of the exorcism of modern science. Can they even have trials? The law only covers humans and birds. Even if they look like birds, I don't think they can. So then... They do not have the right to be tried by law. All they can do is wait to be culled. Uh, I object! 
Yeah, Hilda, they, this game does. They may have done some bad things, but no birdie was badly injured. The worst was Yuya's burn. We can't just kill them. I have a proposal, Mr. Shirogane. Yes? Dr. Yip, is Dr. Yomine? Shall I take them? You would? We can't, Sakuya. Give them to a sitting into a fate worth in death, no matter how you look at it. Please, do not be so agitated. I have no intention of harming them. Just yet. In other words, you probably will later. If you are willing to take them in, sir, I have no objections. Be respectful towards Dr. Yuamina, you two rapscallions. Merry Christmas! And make sure to tell us when you hit Mr. Ushaw's Christmas tree, okay? Oh, thank you! Please, for the love of God, be careful! Merry Christmas! Ow! And so, with the help of Dr. Iwamina and Yuya, we capture the Christmas thieves Miru and Kaku. No one need fear for their Christmas decorations again. But why was the doctor so happy to help? He didn't even ask for compensation. Normally, he would have asked for something. That will be one leg, please. Maybe it was his idea. It was his idea of a Christmas present. Oh, 3 a.m. already? That's way too late. We got them to tell us where the stolen trees are, so I should go help go home to eat udon and sleep. Miru, Kaku, <coughs> you still have your caretaker rings from the lab, yes? Merry Christmas, caretaker, caretaker, look. Let me see. <coughs> you... You never did leave anything behind but trouble. <coughs> Mr. Ushada! We got your Christmas tree back! Oh my, oh my. Thank you. It really is calming to look at, isn't it? I'm so glad yours is intact. Sakuya's was completely incinerated. At least the big tree Sakuya had at home was saved. I guess that's some sort of consolation. <coughs> and that's the end of this investigation. I'm looking forward to working here over the break. But of course, I am pleased to have you. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. How long is this game? Okay, I'm gonna stop here actually because I need to need to eat dinner and do some other stuff. So thank you all very much for watching my stream. Big thank you to everyone who donated to help me survive the first few weeks in Tokyo. Um, and uh, I will try to do more streams in, you know, I'll try to do Extra Life again later this year if there's time. If not, maybe I'll try to do a mini two or three hour uh, charity stream coming that in the future or whatever. But you're all great fr friends and folks and people who don't know me. Uh, thank you um, for watching. Have a great evening, folks. I will talk to you all later. Good night. I will definitely stay in contact even though I'm in Japan, I promise.